Hello viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to another video. Today in this video we will learn how to calculate SPI that means standardized precipitation index uh, using only Microsoft Excel. We are not using any other software here. Uh, in this video I will show you how to calculate this. Here you can see uh, we have a data sheet this column for years and these are the stationary annual rainfall data here we have uh, 31 stations and uh, from 18, 1981 to uh, 2020 we have all the values uh, here and we want to calculate the standardized precipitation index here you can see the formula for standardized precipitation index xi minus xm divided by sx here xi stands for the average of initial uh, observation data uh, that means this stationary data for every year these are the uh, these are the initial data xi and xm stands for the mean or average values of this initial data sx stands for standard deviation so let's start the video and let's calculate first xm that means average of the stationary data okay so first of all select all the stations and then average okay these are the average values these are the all average values for stations copy this one paste only numbers then select this one clear select this value cut and paste here okay now i want to calculate the uh, standard uh, standard deviation and you know standard deviation uh, formula xi minus xm whole square divided by station and uh, the values value is uh, the value is then calculated as uh, as the square root square root of this value uh, that means that means i will i show you standard deviation equal to standard deviation equal to x i minus x m to the power square divided by st observation stations stations and you have to calculate it as the square root okay this is the formula formula of standard deviation so first of all uh, I have to calculate the xi minus xm to the power square then I will divide it by stations and uh, I'll do it the square root so let's uh, calculate first the xi minus xm to the power square okay xi minus xm to the power square okay now I am 
selecting all these stations and copying it then paste here okay now type here x i this one x i minus x m this one x m and you know x m is fixed so we have to insert a dollar sign here okay to the power square then enter this one uh, this one is the uh, xi minus xm to the power square value for the next station and this one all the uh, values for all all years from 1981 to 2020 and now if you do this then all these stations will be calculated sorry square okay okay sorry mistake of formula okay we have to insert here the dollar sign okay now okay if I do this then AI5 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 okay this one the right formula so I am calculating for every stations and now for every year these are the xi minus xm to the power square value and now we have to calculate the summation of the xi minus xm value for every stations for every year after that we will calculate the standard deviation okay now we will we will calculate the summation of all xi minus xm to the power square values for uh, every station okay select b1 then sum okay uh, this is the sum of all xi minus xm to the power whole square values this these are the uh, values for every year 
okay now I am calculating the standard deviation for standard deviation uh, you see the formula square root of x i minus x m to the power whole square divided by stations so we have every data uh, summation this one the summation divided by station we have 31 stations here from the Nespo to Technaf 31 stations to the power uh, square root that means 0 0.5 then enter this one is the standard deviation for uh, 1981 now I'm calculating for every year from 1981 to 2020 these are the standard deviation now it's time for us to calculate the SPI here you see the SPI equal to XI minus XM divided by standard deviation so let's calculate this one SPI and we will calculate SPI for every station so let's select all the stations and then paste here okay now calculate the SPI for the NASPOR for 19 1981 XI minus XM this one the initial data xi minus minus xm that means the average value this one the xm then divided by standard deviation this one the standard deviation then hit enter okay this one the SPI value for the spoon for 1921 1981 okay now I want to fix the BP here this is fixed and XM also fixed XM XM here you see XM AI this one also fixed so insert a dollar sign here hit enter okay now calculate for every stations okay AI BB5 fixed okay now can we calculate undo okay these are the SPI values for every stations and finally we have calculated this you can also plot graph for these values I am not plotting graph in this video
you all know the negative values uh, stands for the drought condition and the positive value stands for the weight condition okay okay so guys finally we have found our SPI values for every stations and every year so these are the SPI values you see these are the SPI values for every stations and hope you guys all know that how to calculate the SPI values using Excel and without any other software if you have any queries then please leave a comment on the comment box below and if this video is helpful to you then please like comment share or subscribe us so thank you for watching